For practice at self-check 2.23 complete loop, we are given the following loop and we are asked to produce the following output. This is our output right here. We're given this following code. So what we need to do first is write a sysout statement. That way we can actually produce something. So we have system.out.println. And we need to incorporate this loop every single time. What we can see in here is there is a difference between these numbers. Every single number, there is a difference of 18. Um, each number is being added to, um, 18. So if we have 32, we add 18, we get 50. 50 plus 18, we get 68, and so on for every single one. So what we can have here is 18. Now we have all of these rows here, and we have a for loop. So if we multiply this by i, we will get 18 for our first value. But we want negative 4. We'll look at 14 first, though. We want i times 18. That will give us 18. But what we can do is add a negative 4 here. Now we have negative 4 plus 18 times i. If i is 1, it's going to give us 14. If i is 2, this is going to give us 32. If i is 3, this is going to give us 50. So our only problem is it doesn't start at negative 4, it starts at 14. To fix this, we can set i equal to 0. We can start this as i is equal to 0. And instead of running it to 6, we'll have it run a 0th time, a 1st time, a 2nd time, third time, a fourth time, and a fifth time. So instead of setting it equal to six, we can either set it equal to five, or we can leave this as six and say that it is just less than and not less than and equal to. If we submit this, we have passed the test, and this is the working code to get this output.